What's up guys, welcome back. Now, it's been a while, of course, it's been about a week or so since my last video, but we have been waiting and waiting and waiting for Nintendo to announce the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition, and a lot of people really thought that they were going to announce it today, on the 8th, but it looks like they did not. And a lot of people know that they do have it ready to go, we're just waiting for them to announce it, so it is kind of frustrating waiting for it to be honest with you but besides that of course we do have some interesting information to share about Unreal Engine 4.21 and this is the latest and greatest version of Unreal Engine 4 and it is adding a very nice feature for the Nintendo Switch and that is the visual effects tool set known as Niagara which they introduced at GDC 2018 has now been announced as having Nintendo Switch support so before this, the Nintendo Switch was using the standard Cascade toolset, and this is the oldest toolset that Unreal Engine has supported for the last 10 years from what they themselves had said at GDC and different interviews. So they have said it has been a long time coming that they are going to release a brand new updated and programmable custom visual effects toolset for Unreal Engine 4 for developers. This is basically what the Unreal Engine 4 developers are saying at Epic that they are going to be using in the next generation going forward for particle effects, visual effects, all kinds of different effects that you can use. And in the old previous Cascade version, it is a lot more simple to use obviously because it's a lot less varied in what you can do with it. But as they brought out, there are a lot of disadvantages with Cascade as well. But don't take it from me. Let me show you exactly what they're talking about here in this brief overview. So take a look at this. Niagara is the replacement for the Cascade VFX or particle system. It replaces an old legacy system that's been around for, well, 20 versions, along with, I think, an Unreal Engine 3. And we now have a more fully programmable visual effects simulator. It's node-based. It has modular behaviors. We can create our own functions and modules. It just gives us more. The older system looks like this. This is our Cascade system. You had the ability to add in emitters. Each emitter had modules that were preset, and then you change those modules in order to make it work. Now some of the issues with that was you couldn't really expand upon it and you didn't have too fine of control in terms of timing. This is what the new Niagara system looks like. It's got a lot more colors which is kind of nice but it's got things in a much more modular fashion. Now rather than just having a particle system you have an emitter or multiple emitters and a system which manages them. No more needing to feed in stuff from outside. Now your designers can set up multiple particle systems and then someone else can set it, put it in the system and then you can use the details panel to change out variables. Faster, slower, you can expose them all to the details system. So those are up there for exposed parameters. You see some custom functions in here. Sampling the static mesh, the normal of it and the position and this is giving us where we're changing all of our colors. These are all using custom functions. If we were to go into the content examples, for, for example, and we look through here, you can see here's a custom module. Accumulate nearby particle influences. And it reads in data from the mesh, and it outputs where it's at, and that's how we get our little effect, where it's going from here, and it's being influenced to the right to our static mesh. And other things like overriding the renderer, and then skeletal mesh reproduction. So you can see this breaking apart a skeletal mesh or actually, well, breaking apart and putting it back together, all inside of our particle system. Okay, so that demonstration I just showed you was for the previous version of Unreal Engine 4.20. So the brand new version of Unreal Engine 4.21 has a whole bunch of new improvements to Niagara and they listed it on their website. Just a whole bunch of optimizations, both for mobile devices, for PC, for consoles, and of course, Nintendo Switch support. So what this is gonna do for the Nintendo Switch for developers is that it is not only going to increase performance on games that they use this with, but it is also going to more easily allow developers who use Unreal Engine 4 to create their own custom effects without the need of going into deep customization in as far as rewriting code for Unreal Engine 4 in their own custom way, like what they have had to do with Cascade in previous versions of Unreal Engine 4 from what they brought out at their GDC event. So of course Niagara is brand new and developers will need to learn how to use it. Since the majority of them have been using Cascade for a number of years, it does appear that Niagara has a whole host of features that are going to make things a lot easier for them to implement, to create their own custom effects, to make things look really, really good with less performance cost. So of course for the Nintendo Switch, since they added this support, 
it is a benefit in those two areas. In the area of creating effects that look better with less time involvement, and of course the performance increase that will come with it from developers who use this when they make games for the console. So say for example they want to release the next Unreal Engine 4 game on the Nintendo Switch as a cross-platform game, they can more easily implement the effects from the PS4 and Xbox One versions of those games with quite possibly them being able to recreate those assets a lot easier with Niagara on the Nintendo Switch since it uses a more varied customizable tool set in order for them to do that and a lot less working on the actual code itself which takes a lot more time and effort and of course manpower and money in development for Nintendo Switch ports. So of course since this is brand new we're not going to be seeing games that use this for a while but this is a good step forward for developers who want to make their games using Unreal Engine 4 for the Nintendo Switch and have the compatibility and have a lot more freedom for them to use these more custom effects that not only run better but have a lot more variety in ways for them to make them look better without having to do a whole bunch of extra work to do so. So I thought this was a pretty big update for the Switch so I wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section and if you did enjoy this video please hit the like button, subscribe for more and I'll talk to you very soon in the next video. Have a great day.